So previously we we create we got the data from database and then we created we used the WP WP list tables to display the table. So right now we, we should be doing is we should be creating the add or edit or delete and then before we go there so we need we need to create a form. So currently this one is empty. So look at that guy. So we, we, we empty that line. So so no not empty. So this this is where we are at. So we need to create a form. So how how can we do that? So that's a good question. So if you go to the w3schools.com and then bootstrap four and then bootstrap form and then you go you select on there and you scroll down, you scroll down, you scroll down and you see the that sec that section, so form valid validation. And then you click on that guy, and then it will appear that one. And then you, and then I will do the this way. So you copy from everything from head to whatever at the end of the dip. You copy that guy, and and go. By the way, by the way, so if you go back to your, if you go back to your finished project, and then if you if you are if you are doing copy and paste, so make sure you are headed on zero six. Go get your bootstrap for and then hit. So that's that's what it should be. So I'm moving back to another screen. So you copy everything from top to whatever. I mean, copy everything, slide or copy. And then, sorry, sorry. I'm going back to our development project and open that guy. So that's where we are at. And then we paste everything and then we will remove the unnecessary one. So remove that guy. We don't need any text and we don't need this too. So you save it and then go back to our backend, WordPress backend. You refresh, make sure you are on our plugin and then click on this guy. That's where we are at. So right now we are okay, but this is not the right way to load the CSS and JavaScript. So correct way is, so if you go back to, if you go back to, so we need to load this three things. So where shall we be loading? You cut that lines and then go to my plugin.php. So you need to save here. And if you are, if you are calling from here, that means we can, we can use it at everywhere. So that's, that's where we are. We, we should be doing. So we paste just below that guy, and we have, we already have main CSS. So so like we will copy. We will copy that guy. Yep. Yep. We will, shall we type? No, we we'll type. No, we copy. We copy this guy. So we we try to save the time. And and now you give it you give it name. So booster four. So give it name. You copy and paste from the my plugin dot php line that is, and you you give it comma. And you give it the single code. And you start copy. You remove https. So. We don't need that guy. So if you are not sure what I'm doing, so just selection, match all currents, and then and you can select everything. So make sure you select that guy, HTTPS column, and then match all currents. If you are selecting that guy, so I have a control all the down arrow. So that's my shortcut. And then compare to this guy and then cut or copy whatever cut is good so you knew where you are at 
and that's how you load how you load your CDN from WordPress. And say so you can remove that guy, so we don't need Control Delete, or you can cut or whatever. And and the next thing is we we need to load JavaScript. So if you are logging, if you are loading JavaScript, WP that should be same as your script. So we need we need same we use single code. So and we need how many do we need to it? Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V. So that's how you load. And uh, you give a name. And I copy and paste from line 42. And then you copy, I believe, this, this guy. No, jQuery main. Copy, comma, single code, paste. Okay, shift delete. Sorry, shift delete. And you copy same thing for that guy. Start from here. Comma, single code. So and then give it the popper. Popper, popper. Okay. And then shift delete. And start from here, and then copy same thing. Comma. So we're doing same thing. So you copy and paste the line forty two the name. So I want to use the same name. The ones you type, and you remove shift a bit. And 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 go back to your backend. What's backend? And 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 hopefully I see. We we are. You're doing the same so if you're not sure and then if you if you do caching so you make sure you you press ctrl f5 so so stay working that's good and then go back to your this us studio and then open the add or edit see it down a page and then we need to we need to change the name so copy so in your finished project so go to the this page and 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 we will remove the we remove that guy we don't need that guy so i need make sure you make you give it space between the between the between the each group form group because in, in in your future in the future so so if you are not if you are making the quick edit so you can you can see the clearly where you are at and you copy and paste line three to six and make sure indentation is right and then save so we don't need this guy, so that's a checkbox. We don't need that guy. And 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 and, and we, we need a we need a space here because this is label, so that's a one group. And then this is for the validation part. So that's another one and then and then I think I think let me double check. So I think this is pretty much it. So we'll be adding the front and bootstrap form and then the next tutorial we'll start doing you know a uh, crude operation operated operations so because we want to add or delete the data remove or edit whatever whatever you want to do with database and then updating the database or so we'll be doing at the next tutorial. Stay tuned.